Patrick Dennis. Edward Everett Tanner, Roman 3, 18 May 1921, 6 November 1976, known by the pseudonym Patrick Dennis, was an American author. His novel Anti Mam, An Irreverent Escapade, 1955, was one of the best selling American books of the 20th century. In chronological vignettes, the narrator also named Patrick recalls his adventures growing up under the wing of his madcap aunt, Mam Dennis. Dennis wrote a sequel, titled Around the World with Auntie Mam, in 1958. Dennis based the character of Mam Dennis on his father's sister, Marion Tanner. Dennis also wrote several novels under the pseudonym Virginia Rowans. I write in the first person, but it is all fictional. The public assumes that what seems fictional is fact, so the way for me to be inventive is to seem factual but be fictional. All of Dennis's novels employ to some degree the traditional comic devices of masks, subterfuge, and deception. Early Life Dennis was born Edward Everett Tanner Roman III in Chicago, Illinois, to Edward Everett Tanner Roman II and Florence Neathacker Tanner, and grew up in Evanston, Illinois. He had one sister, Barbara, later Mrs. Hastings. His father nicknamed him Pat before he was born after the Irish heavyweight, boxer Pat Sweeney, a dirty fighter known for kicking his opponents. When he was old enough to say so, he let it be known that he liked Pat better than Edward, and so Pat he became. He attended Evanston Township High School, where he was popular and excelled in writing and theater. Career, Rur. In 1942, he joined the American Field Service, working as an ambulance driver in North Africa and the Middle East. The first edition of Auntie Mam spent 112 weeks on the bestseller list, selling more than two million copies in five languages. The manuscript was turned down by 15 publishers before being accepted by the Vanguard Press. Dennis and a friend marketed the book to the booksellers. At the height of its popularity, it was selling more than 1,000 copies per day. Throughout 1955 and 1956, it sold between 1,000 and 5,000 per week. In 1956, with Auntie Mam, The Loving Couple, His and Her Story, and Guessword Ho, Dennis became the first writer to have three books on the New York Times bestseller list at the same time. Working with longtime friend, actor, and photographer Chris Alexander, Dennis created two parody memoirs, complete with elaborate photographs. The first, titled Little Me, recounts the escapades through life and love of glamour girl Belle Poitrine, as told to Patrick Dennis. His wife, Louise, appeared as Pixie Portnoy in the book's photographic illustrations, which included their children and an employee as well. The second bio, titled First Lady 1964, is the life story of Martha Dinwiddie Butterfield, oblivious wife of a robber baron who stole the U.S. presidency for 30 days at the turn of the century. Personal Life On December 30, 1948, Dennis married Louise Sidney, with whom he had two children. He led a double life as a conventional husband and father, and as a bisexual, in later life becoming a well-known participant. Later years and death, Dennis's work fell out of fashion in the 1970s, and all of his books went out of print. In his later years, he left writing to become a butler, a job that his friends reported he enjoyed. At one time, he worked for Ray Kroc, the CEO of McDonald's. Although he was, at long last, using his real name, he was in essence working yet again under a pseudonym. His employers had no inkling that their butler, Tanner, was the famous author Patrick Dennis. He died from pancreatic cancer in Manhattan at the age of 55 on November 6, 1976. At the turn of the 21st century, there was a resurgence of interest in his work, and subsequently many of his novels are once again available. His son, Dr. Michael Tanner, wrote introductions to several reissues of his father's books. Some of Dennis' original manuscripts are held at Yale University, others at Boston University. Written Works Virginia Rowans 
Rowan's, Virginia, 1953. Oh, what a wonderful wedding. And New York, Crowell. Rowan's, Virginia, 1954. House Party, New York, Crowell. Rowan's, Virginia, 1956. The Loving Couple, His and Her Story, New York, Crowell. Rowan's, Virginia, 1961. Love and Mrs. Sargent, New York, Farrar, Strauss, and Q. Dye. Patrick Dennis. Dennis, Patrick, 1955. Auntie Mam, New York, Vanguard Press, S. Press, S. Hard Press. Dennis, Patrick, 1956. Guestward, Ho by Barbara C. Hooten, as indiscreetly confided to Patrick Dennis, New York, Vanguard Press. Erskine, Dorothy, and Patrick Dennis, 1957. The Pink Hotel, New York, Putnam. Dennis, Patrick, 1958. Around the World with Auntie Mam, New York, New American Library. Library, library. Dennis, Patrick, 1961. Little Me, The Intimate Memoirs of That Great Star of Stage, Screen, and Television, Belle Poitrine, as told to Patrick Dennis, New York, E. P. Dutton. ISBN 0 minus 7,000, 679 minus 1,347 minus 7 is 7. Dennis, Patrick, 1962. Genius, New York, Harcourt, Brace and World. Dennis, Patrick, 1964. First Lady, My Thirty Days Upstairs at the White House, by Martha Dinwiddie Butterfield, as told to Patrick Dennis, New York, William Morrow. Dennis, Patrick, 1965. The Joyous Season, New York, Harcourt, Brace and World. Dennis, Patrick, 1966. Tony, New York. E. P. Dutton. Dennis, Patrick, 1968. How Firm Foundation, New York, William Morrow. ISBN 0 minus 586 minus 3549 minus 4. Dennis, Patrick, 1971. Paradise, New York, Harcourt Brace Jovanovich. Dennis, Patrick, 1972. 3D, New York. Adaptations in Other Media. The 1956 Broadway production of Auntie Mam, starring Rosalind Russell, and the highly successful 1958 screen adaptation that followed, inspired Jerry Herman's 1966 musical Mam, with Angela Lansbury in the lead. A 1974 film version starred Lucille Ball and B. Arthur. Little Me was turned into a musical in 1962, with book by Neil Simon and score by Cy Coleman and Carolyn Lee, and Sid Caesar playing all the male roles. Bob Foss won the Tony Award for Best Choreography. There have been several revivals of Little Me, most recently in 1998, with Martin Short, who won a Tony Award for Best Actor. Two of Dennis's novels were transformed into television sitcoms, House Party 1954, about a supposedly wealthy family, who were actually dead broke, was the inspiration for the Proots of Southampton 1966-67, starring Phillies Diller, Grady Sutton, Gypsy Rose Lee, and Richard Deegan. Dennis's book Guestward Ho, 1956, became the sitcom Guestward Ho, 1960-61, about city folk trying to run a dude ranch in New Mexico. The latter sitcom starred Mark Miller, J. Carol Nash, and Joan Drew.